What is up, everybody? MTG Peddler here, and as you can see, I'm a little bored today. It's raining, got nothing else better going on. I got a spare Zendikar Rising set booster box floating around the house, so I said, let's open it up. Why not? Hope everyone's doing great. If you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second, hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel as we continue to grow. All right. Like I said, I'm not as bored at home, so I got, I got really nothing going on. So I was like, you know what? I know I got this box sitting here. Let's open her up. Cat jumping on me. That's <laughs> Hopefully she'll be good right there. Let's get our packs out. All right, guys, we're just going to go right into this thing. We'll do, obviously do the box topper last. I'll put the box topper right here. Perfect. All right, pack one. Set boosters. And it's been a while since I opened these. I don't even remember exactly... How these work what the order is it's just gonna it'll be fun as we go along so we have our art card start us out and then we're gonna have a full art basic and then our commons and uncommons that are gonna be like or some kind of like pairing and then we're gonna have our head turner card which is gonna be like a, a flip card or an ex, uh, one of the showcase arts and then we're going to have our two wild cards, both common here. And then we're going to have our first rare, which is the Thieving Skydiver. And our foil, which is Deliberate. And that's pretty much how the packs go. So let's keep on rolling here. Pack two. Hope everyone's having a good day. Got our art card. Our land. And then our, our six commons and uncommons into our head turner. And then we have... A common, a relic vial at uncommon. Wayward Guide Beast is our rare. And a foil expedition champion. With our little token blah 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 card in the back. So we have no, um, no list cards yet. We haven't got a signed art card yet. So it's been pretty, pretty relaxed, you know. Nothing too exciting in these first couple packs, but like I said, it's just the first couple packs. That's why we open them all. Commons and Uncommons. Uh, showcase Territorial Scythe Cat. Our two wild cards. And then we have a Soul Shatter as our rare, followed by a Malachar Blood Priest. Pack number four. Hey, there's a list card. There we go. You can tell because when you open it up, you see the magic back and then we have our art foil land and then our six into our head turner card and black bloom rogue and then wild cards one and two followed by a yarshan implacable earth as our rare practic tactics and a tortured existence is our list cards. I'll put that right there for now. It'll be our list card pile. Why not? Keep on going. I think we're just like pack five now, I guess. We have our, our land, commons and uncommons, into our head turner, Canyon Jerboa. Two wild cards. Cleansing Wildfire, Red Bite, another Wayward Guide Beast, because why not? And a fruit. And this crap. Moving right along. And another art card. Oops. Sorry about that. Hold on. Hold on. Make it, make it a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Make it a little bit neater. I'm just going to spread everything all over the place. Into our head turner card. And then we have Squid. Nimble Trap Finder at Rare. Squad Commander. Foil Anti-Cognition. Not too bad. Getting a couple more packs left in our first stack. Nothing too interesting so far, but like I said, the box is not even a third of the way done. A lot can change between now and then. We have Akiri, the Fearless, Fearless Voyager, and a Skyclave Pickaxe Foil. Next pack rolling in. Yeah, what do we got? Haven't seen any mythics yet. Art card. 
And then we have our McKinney Ox is our showcase. And then a healer, Roiling Regrowth, Confounding Conundrum is our rare. And then a Foil Showcase Spitfire Lagic. Not too bad there. Still no Mythics. And then we have our Jace, Mirror Mage, Art Card. Our six Commons and Uncommons that we don't really care about. Prowl and Felidar is our showcase. Our two wild cards, both common. A Skyclave Relic is our rare. Foil. Oh, we have an art card too. A uh, Retreat to Coral Helm. Very nice for those who want to see. Looks like it's a, what is that? Battle for Zendikar, I believe. So two list cards so far. No Mythics. No signed art cards. Oh, there's a signed art card. Which one is this? One of the Pathways, I believe? A Flooded Strand. Very cool. So we do have the signed art card there. Put, the, put that here for now. Why not? And then our six commons and uncommons. Followed by our Head Turner, which is Kazul's Fury. Our two wild cards. Squad Commander. Bonus Rare. And then a Grack Maw. And a Foil Dra Draga Visionary. There you go. Sure. All right, that's the end of our first stack, starting stack number two. This would be the, the center stack. We started out with the right stack. And then we have our art, Foil Island. I think I saw something good poking in the back there. I think I saw something decent, so McKinney Ox. Oh, look at that first mythic, and it's, it's Jace, the Mirror Mage, very nice. Not one of the more coveted ones, but hey, it's, it's, that's what I saw. Look at that. Foil River Glide Pathway in extended art with the Lava Glide on the back. Very, very nice hit there. I'll put that with the Mythics also. Very, very nice hit there. So that was a good pack. That was a very good pack. I, I thought I saw that shine as I was rifling through the, the jank in the beginning. I was like, oh, that looked like it was something. And it turns out it was. All right, so we have Wizard, Veteran Adventurer, Sky Cave Plunder, Kaza Royal Chaser is our rare, followed by Dauntless Survivor. And we're gonna keep on rolling. We're still sitting at one Mythic, one signed art card, and we have that really, really beautiful pathway as well. And then we have a Spitfire Lagic as our showcase. Two commons. And um, we have Valakut Awakening, which also has obviously Stoneforge on the back. Nice little flip card there. Our foil and crap. Getting close to about halfway through the box now. Oops. And we're going to stop here because I can't open this pack. There is a list card in this one. This will be our third list card. And then we have Kabira Takedown is our head turner. And common, Demon's Disciple into a Nighthawk Scavenger. Pretty decent hit there at rare. Cleric of Chill Depths and Goblin Grenade. Very cool, M12 version of Goblin Grenade. All right, now we're officially halfway through the box right here, I believe, I believe. I'm not really counting, are you? <laughs> I'm just enjoying opening the packs, it's always Fun to have boxes and packs to open. And then we have Vastwood Fortifications as our head turner. Nothing interesting in the wild card. We have Charks, the Raging Isle, and a Skyclave GOP. Let me move this pile over. It's starting to get high. I don't want it to topple on us. Next pack. All right, so our foil land, our six commons and uncommons, followed by a Kazandu Nectar Pot as showcase. And then we have Archon of Amiria as a rare, Nimble Trap Finder, and a Synchronized Spellcraft is our foil. Moving right along. Hey, another list card. See it poking in there. Kind of took it off screen, but I assure you it's there. 
Okay, so we have a head turner card, two wild cards, Legion Angel, Skyclave, Sentinel, and a Wild Research. It's a rare um, list card. Very nice. Getting close to the end of stack number two. Oops, hold on. I'm covering up my uh, my expedition. I'll forget about it if I, if I cover it up. Planes. Another Skyclave Geopede in Showcase. And then we have Dreadworm. Skulker, and a pathway, another pathway, look at that. Extended art. Lava Glide on the back, very, very cool. It's actually the same one that we got in foil. Speaking of foils, that's a foil Seagate Stormcaller. Very, very cool. So we have a foil Mythic in this pack. That is Mythic number two. That's something, that is something. All right, come on box, give me a couple more Mythics. Let's keep that going. So. Extended art pathway, whoops, pathway goes here. There we go. I put it on top of the art cards. Okay, so our head turner. And then our two wild cards, a common and uncommon. Then we have another uh, Akiri Fearless Voyager and a Risen Riptide at foil. All right, last pack of the middle stack and we're gonna end it with a list card. And then we have Art, Our Land, you guys know the drill. Six commons and uncommons no one cares about. Couple of wild cards, Thieving Skydivers are rare, Cleansing Wildfire, and an Ever-Flowing Chalice in the list card position. Not too bad. All right, starting the left stack now, last stack. So I think it's eight packs, I think it's 24 in these total, right? Uh, something like that. Let's see if that left stack is, because I always say the left stack is the bet, the, always like the, the money stack. Like the, I feel like all the good packs are there. So let's see if that rings true. So we have a Showcase Dreadworm. And then Royal Eruption. Hey, there's a pathway. Very nice. Cry Crown Pathway. I'm just going to move it off screen so you can't see the rare behind it. And Timber Crown Pathway. Very nice. Another pathway. And we have an Aura. Skyclave Helo Font. Foil Ruin Crab. I'm putting these in the wrong spot. Foil Ruin Crab Showcase followed by, oh, I thought there was a list card. <laughs> I got all excited. I thought there was a list card. I wasn't paying attention. That was the last pack, wasn't it? <laughs> all right, come on, come on, come on. What can we do? Skyclave Relic. And then we have a common and a common in our wild cards followed by a Roiling Vortex. And then uh, Pleca Predation is our foil. Yeah, what, six packs left, something like that? Who knows? Six or something? Oh, Wasteland. I, I like this art card a lot, by the way. It's not worth anything. I just like it. Canyon Jerboa. Or, I'm sorry, Canopy Bayloth is going to be our uh, uh, showcase here. And then we have two uncommons in our wild cards, followed by a Taziri Beacon of Unity, another mythic. So that's our third mythic of the box, and a Canby Bayloth as our foil. All right, so three mythics. I think we got three pathways in these, so that's not terrible. And we got, I think, four list cards, something like that. And there's, speaking of pathways, there's the artwork. And then we have our six commons and or uncommons, followed by a Balaged Recovery. And then our two wild cards, both at common. Scourge of the Skyclaves, another mythic. That's a nice hit right there. And like I said, that left stack working wonders. Fourth mythic of the box. And then a foil Skyclave Squid. Not bad. Not bad at all. Scourge of the Skyclaves is still holding some value, I believe. And then we have art card. Foil Forest this time. Six commons and uncommons. Spike Field Hazard as our head turner. And then we're gonna have, oh, there we go, the uh, Corhelm Chronicler as one of our wild cards for a rare. Whoa, followed by Felidor Retreat. And a Grotog Bug Catcher is our foil. 
All right, what do we got? Five packs left. Five packs left. Come on now. There we go. There we got a list card. We do have a list card. And we also have a uh, signed art. That's very cool. This is, this is a, a swamp. Very, very cool. So that's our second signed art card. Sitting at four mythics. And we have that uh, foil extended art pathway in this as well. Not bad at all. Showcase Skyclave Squid. And then our two wild cards, followed by Phylath World Sculptor in Showcase. And then we got a Duelist as our foil, followed by Memnite. Memnite, very, very cool. All right, guys, four packs left. Let's do it. Been a pretty decent box so far. I'm happy with the two signed art cards. Four Mythics is about average for these, I'd say. And we do have the uh, foil extended art pathway and two other pathways. So all in all, I'd say this box is doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it so far. And a uh, showcase fearless fledgling. And then our two wild cards followed by another pathway, needle verge pathway and pillar verge pathway. Very, very cool. And expedition healer is our foil. Three packs remaining. Almost done, guys. Almost done. It's actually a pretty fast box break for me. Usually, I, I tend to talk a lot. This time, I was actually pretty... I, was, I, want to say, I want to say I'm pretty focused on this box, where I'm not kind of, you know, just talking all over the place. Our uh, head turner, two wild cards, one common, one thieving skydiver. I think that's our third thieving skydiver for the box. Followed by Null Priest of Oblivion and a Mind Carver. All right. Two packs remaining. Can we get one more Mythic? Well, we're going to get one more list card at least. That's a good thing. So we're just getting one of those. McKindy Ox is going to be our showcase. And then we have our two wild cards. Shadow Stinger followed by a Coral Helm Chronicler. A Sizzling Barrage is our foil followed by... Plated Geopede from the original Zendikar block. All right, guys, last pack. Let's see if we can get that fifth Mythic out of this. Come on now. We basically got four chances for it, right? Because there's four slots where a rare or Mythic could be in this. So here's our art. Foil Mountain. And then we're going to have our six commons and or uncommons. And then we have Veil. Wild card number one, wild card number two, followed by another Phylath, this time just in its uh, typical pack art, followed by Might of Marasa to round us out with the foil. All right, guys, last but not least, we do have an expedition to open up. So let's see what we are going to get. And our expedition is going to be Bountiful Promenade. Very, very nice. So with the um, with the expedition, we ended up with five mythics. So I'd say this is a quality box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope to see you next time. Like I said, take a second, like the video, hit subscribe. All right, until then, until next time, take it easy.